Welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. My name is Laura, and today we're going to make stuffed artichokes. So I have four big artichokes, and the first thing we're going to need to do is prepare the artichokes before we can stuff them. So we're going to start with is some water. We're going to need a pan that's going to fit those four artichokes and fill it up with about a half layer of water. From there, we're going to add half a lemon, You just put that right in the water. So this water is about a liter and a half, so I'm going to need about a half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of virgin olive oil. Put that on the stove and bring it to a boil. Once the water's come to a boil, just place it right beside your work surface. We're going to take these and clean them and then put them in this boiling water. So to clean these, the first thing we need to do is remove this stem. Just get to the bottom and cut straight down. This area here, this point, could be very tight so it's going to be hard to get in there. So we're going to be able to loosen that by having this pointed part face down on a cutting board. Take your hand, press down, and roll. And you can already see how it's starting to open up. And then we're gonna be able to just continue to open that. That's definitely going to be a lot easier to work with than with it tight and closed. The first row or two of these little petals will probably not be good to eat. You'll be able to tell that they're dried and they just really are not nice in that little end here. And this little area is still brown. So you'll need to go just take those and pop them off. And you'll be able to see how nice and clean and green that is. The rest of these we're going to be able to use, but we will need to take off these little points. And I find scissors are the best. Just go in and give them a haircut by cutting off all of those points. And just keep going up. So you're going to end up with rows. You're going to be able to go so far and then you're going to notice all of those points are up at the top. So you can just continue with the scissors and just snip those points off. And get in. What we're looking for is every point cut off. Now I can get to that center a lot easier. Take my fingers and just start gently pulling them apart. And if you missed any little points, trim them now. They really do need to come off. You're gonna be able to go in now, and right in the center, you're going to find this little choke. And it's very sharp. And if you go farther, it's really fuzzy. So we do need to take that out. There's a couple of ways we can take it out. If you have a melon baller, you can use that a spoon, and this is a measuring spoon. We want to go in and just scoop that out. And when you look at it, it's like little fuzzy. We want to remove that fuzziness. You can even get in there with your hand and scoop that out. So when you look close inside, you're going to see that bottom piece and all that fuzzy gone. Now we can just rinse this. Just rinse the inside now. Now we can just place it right in the hot water. Just give it a mix round. Put the lid on and go to the next one. 
we're going to clean it, take out that choke, rinse it, and put them in this boiling water. So all four are going to go in the water. When this is all cut, what we're looking for are these nice rows that we're going to be able to stuff. And you can see that nice soft green compared to those out leaves that need to come off. And if you put your hand here, you should not feel any of those little points. And just keep placing them in the water. Just make sure they're all covered with that water. And then leave the lid on. We're going to leave this for about half an hour. We're going to be able to work on our stuffing while this blanches. I am going to use these stems as part of the stuffing. So we can cut off that bottom and peel them. Put that knife in and it'll just peel off. So you want to peel off all that outside layer. You will only get a little bit from that one stem, but that does add a lot of flavor. And cut that all up into small pieces. So that's the first thing I'm going to add into my bowl and I'll do all four stems. So I have all those chopped up stems in the bottom of my pan. Just take a little bit of your boiling water that's from your original pot. Just scoop up a spoon or two and just have them sit in that water. That water that has lemon in it, it's going to help those not turn brown and it will add a little flavor. Put the lid back on your pot because we do want this to stay hot for a half hour. For the stuffing, we're going to need bread, spices. I'm using oregano and parsley and I will be using one teaspoon of each, one clove of garlic, salt, pepper if you'd like, and I'll need some olive oil. If you use fresh spices, that is always best, but right now mine are dried, so I'm going to put them right in this pot while I have a little bit of that liquid in here. And that liquid is going to help plump up those spices. And you'll notice that that dried spice is gonna really absorb the water. And you can always give those artichokes a bit of a turn. For that one clove of garlic, peel it and chop it as fine as you can. And then add that garlic right on top of those spices and add about a half a teaspoon of salt. I do want everything mixed really well in this pot first. I'm going to melt that salt. I have a little bit of that broth from the pot. For each artichoke, we're going to need approximately one cup of bread. If your crust is soft, you can use that. But this is a nice homemade bread, so I'm going to be removing the crust. And I'm going to chop up four cups of flour because I have the four artichokes. I'm chopping up that bread so it's in quite small pieces. We do need to get that in between each leaf, so it is important that we have small little chunks. You can tear it up or cut it up. And just keep adding that bread right on top of those spices. So my bread is in there and the spices are underneath. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And it's going to probably be about two teaspoons to two tablespoons. The salt and everything is in here. Now I just need to mix it up. So all of those spices and garlic are all mixed in there. Now the bread needs to be very moist so you can make like a snowball with it. So we're going to have to add some moisture. I'm going to go back to that pot where I have those artichokes soaking. Take out about a quarter cup of water and just put that right in there. And keep those nice and warm and mix that in. The amount of water is going to change depending on how dry and moist your bread is. So just keep adding water. 
until that bread is nice and moist. So what I'm looking for is this nice moist bread. We want to add moisture into those artichokes, not take the moisture out. But we do not need any liquid floating in the bottom of our bowl. So just mix that in there and you can see the bread is getting even finer. And that's how beautiful the breadcrumbs look and they smell amazing because that hot water from this pot really absorbed the spice flavor and that garlic together. We're going to need a pot to cook these artichokes in. So we want those artichokes to sit upright. So depending on how many artichokes you do will depend on the size of your pot. And I do like a higher pot. And oil it or give it some pan spray. These have been sitting for about a half hour and it took about that long to do this. I'm going to take them out, just drain up some of that water. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to stuff all of these outsides. All of those leaves around the outside. And I'm going to do it while it's sitting right here inside my pot. Just take them and fill up all of those little edges. They don't have to be over full. We just want a little bit in each of those little leaves. Once I have all those outside leaves filled, I'm going to open up that center and put some in the center. So make a little ball, just stick those in there. And there we have this beautiful artichoke and it looks like a big rosebud. Place this right in the pot and do all four. And there they are all stuffed. They look so pretty. Now an additional thing is to add some grated Parmesan cheese. So each one is going to take about a half a teaspoon. And just sprinkle that on and you can add more or you can add less. I like the additional cheese. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil over top of it. And now add a little bit of this stock that we made into the bottom of the pan. That has some beautiful flavoring in it. We just need about an inch along the bottom and that's just going to keep the moisture into the artichokes. And that's all we have to prepare them. Now we get to put them in the oven. We're going to cover them, bake them at 350 degrees for approximately 45 minutes. So in the oven it goes. And we'll see you in 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. And this is not an exact science, give or take five minutes. And it smells so good. Here we go. So you can see that they're cooked. They're all nice and plumped up. Now if you want to darken the tops a little bit, just put them back in the oven for a couple of minutes. These can cook even for another 15 minutes. It's not going to hurt them. I'm going to lift this one up and put it in the oven and just darken that top a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put them in for probably about another 10 minutes just so that top darkens up a bit. I like the top nice and crunchy. Oh, this looks so good. Look at those. So we still have a little bit of that broth in the bottom. They didn't dry out. And you know what's great with this? If you're having this for a dinner party and you need to leave them in the oven for a couple of five, ten more minutes, you're going to be fine. These take a long time before they're overcooked. So they're a great one to have for a dinner party. And they're delicious. Let's give them a try. Now that this is all ready, we do need to eat them. 
add, they're fun to eat. It's totally different because we need to scrape them with our teeth. So when we look at the original leaf that we've taken off, there's the area that we're not going to be able to eat, but right here, right there in that center, there's what I would call the meat of the artichoke. So we're going to scrape this with our teeth and take off that meat inside. And you'll be able to see that in this one that's raw. So we have that little area here. You can see it's white. That's the area that we're going to eat. We're not eating the leaf on the back or that top part. We're just eating that piece right there. So when we pull them out, you can see that that white piece is now nice and soft. And that's that piece that we're going to eat. I'm going to take that and scrape it with our teeth. So it's just a little bit that we're getting from those outside leaves. We are going to get more and more of that artichoke as we go in. So the center piece is we're going to have more than we are in the outside. So we're just going to peel this off. We get to eat that breading, which is delicious. And there's that white piece. Just take our fingers and it comes right off. And that's how we're going to eat the whole thing until we get to the center. As you eat your way around, the little ones right in the center, you're going to be able to eat the whole thing. They are soft enough and they're delicious. So this is definitely what you would call finger food in a different way. When get, and when we get right to that very center, we have that nice little stuffing in there. And you can eat that bottom piece. If you are able to take out enough of that choke, you can eat the whole thing. If the choke is not removed, you can just remove a little bit more of that fuzzy stuff that is inside. So you end up with that bottom piece and that all is very good. It's a fun meal to eat. It's fun to cook. They're not hard to cook. Mm. They're delicious. We just need to take off those little points at the tips, stuff them, and cook them. And, as always, I do hope you give it a try, and bon appetit.